What I've got here is a salsa chutney fried egg sandwich. Yes, it's weird, but it's also wonderful. Now, many years ago, back in the 80s, I used to watch a show called Red Dwarf. It's like a space comedy coming out of Britain. And there was two characters, Lister and Rimmer. And one night, in one of the episodes, they got very drunk. Next morning, feeling rather fragile, Lister says, well, he's got the perfect hangover cure. It's uh, called, a, in his, his case, it was a chili chutney fried egg sandwich. And Rimmer tries it. He's a little worried, but then he comes and he says, oh, it's got all the wrong ingredients, but it's absolutely right. Well, I decided I wanted to make a sandwich like that, but I didn't have any chili on hand. I had salsa instead. And I thought, well, you know, this is quite different, but let's give it a try. And that's how the salsa chutney fried egg sandwich was born. So simple to make. You just quickly whip it up and it is. It's just a, it's an unbelievable taste sensation. In this case, I've got on some nice rye bread, which just soaks up some of the flavors and the juices. And, mmm. <laughs> Fun and messy to eat. Fantastic. Let's go in the kitchen and make one of these right now. Okay, so to make our salsa chutney fried egg sandwich, we have just a few ingredients, really simple. First of all, we got one tablespoon of butter, which I'm going to pop into the small frying pan. It, uh, this is the one that's like a nicely coated frying pan. Um, easy slip around in there, great for cooking eggs. So let's turn that on. We're gonna put that on as a kind of a low, medium low heat. Not too hot. So what I'm gonna do now is just gonna get that butter melting. While that butter's melting, let's go over the ingredients. All right, first of course there's egg. And you'll notice that I've already cracked the two eggs into a bowl, rather than crack them straight into the pan. This way it ensures even cooking of both eggs because we put them all in at once and also I can control the placement in the pan. So that's two eggs. And as you can see, these beautiful uh, free range eggs with the deep yellow orange yolks. I love these, we get these from a local uh, market now. And then I have here about about a quarter cup of uh, salsa and about a quarter cup of mango chutney. Now I say about because depending on the size of your bread and how thick you want it, it's really up to you how much of this you put on. We might, with these pieces of bread that are a little thin, we might only use uh, two tablespoons of each. I just kind of go by, by feel always. How much, you know, you just want a good slathering on there. And the bread. Well, this is a uh, light rye bread that I get from a local bakery. It's absolutely delicious. I love this and it kind of absorbs some of the uh, sauce into it. And then of course, when you're eating the eggs and the egg yolk breaks, some of that will absorb into the bread. Fantastic. So any bread will do though. I mean, you can even use just a white bread and that'd be fine. All right, so our, our butter is melted and it's starting to foam. Let's get those eggs cooking. So what I'm gonna do now is just gonna slip the eggs in here. And I'm gonna slip them in at this one side like that. And then, you know, the, the uh, white, the thin white, the albumin, tends to spread out. So just kind of work it down to one corner here. We want to keep these eggs together because, as you see, our bread is not that wide. Okay. All right. So, going to cook the eggs for about a minute to a minute and a half on one side, just until the whites firm up. I don't want to overcook them or anything because we're going to flip these, but we want those whites to firm up a bit. All right, so I'm going to leave that to cook. While that's cooking, let's get our uh, bread ready. So I'm going to put the salsa, as you see, if you look down, this, this one here has some holes in it. This, this bread always has holes in it. So um, I'm going to put the thicker chutney on this side so it doesn't all drip through and put the salsa on this side where it can absorb it more. So let's just get some of that salsa on there. See, I think we only use about two tablespoons this time. Yep, two tablespoons would just be absolutely perfect. Then usually I go a little lighter on the chutney, but that's your own your own taste. Uh, if you go heavier on the chutney, it's going to be a bit more sweeter. You know, so it depends whether you like sweet or spicy. And again, with the with the uh, salsa, 
Um, this is kind of a medium spicy. There's, there's a mild and there's a hot salsa. You have all the different choices. Um, I'm going with more of a medium. Go with whatever one you like. All right, just a little bit more chutney on there. So, yeah, just about, just about two tablespoons of chutney on this one, too. Maybe we're going a little heavy this time. Yeah, a little heavy on this end. Let's get rid of that. There we go. All right. So those are ready to go. And you can see we only used about half of that. That's fine. It'll be used for something else. This is always better to have a little extra on hand. Okay, those eggs got a little bit, a little bit further to go yet, but they're looking good. You see, I'm just keeping those whites in there, that the thin white, keep it in close. All right, those whites are basically firmed up. Now, a really good uh, coordinated cook usually flips these. As you've seen in most of my shows, I have absolutely no coordination. I'll end up with just egg all over the counter. So I use a spatula. And then all I do is ease underneath here. Now, it's a little difficult to flip two, so you can do is just cut them in half. And then flip it over. And say with this one. All right, on this side, we're just going to, not even half a minute, not even 15 seconds, really. Um, about 15, good enough. What we're doing is just, just kind of solidifying that up a bit, but I don't want to solidify the yolks. Yes, this is a, this is a messy treat. We're going to bite into this. Yolk's going to come pouring out. Fun to eat. A little messy to eat. All right, those should be ready to go. Turn off the heat. And now, I'm going to slip the egg onto here. Oh, oh, oh. yes. My taste buds are looking forward to this already. Let's see, I want that yolk at the other side, so let's put it this way. And then, flip that on top. And there we have it. Salsa. Salsa chutney fried egg sandwich messy and delicious mmm <laughs> not just hits the taste buds in a whole number of different ways all right enjoy your salsa chutney fried egg sandwich now if you go to the link appearing on the screen you can get the free printable recipe for a salsa chutney fried egg sandwich on our website so go print out the recipe, have fun making and eating this weird and delicious sandwich, and make cooking fun again with Kuma's Kitchen.